Okay, so I'm going to make a quick tutorial on how to mail a laptop. Um, I noticed a lot of people selling these on eBay are charging $30 to $50 to mail their laptop when it only costs about $15 to properly pack and mail a laptop. So really the first thing you want to do um, is get some wipes, clean the laptop, nobody wants your germs or the germs of whoever's been using this thing forever and uh, and clean off the base you know I like to use some Lysol wipes for the base make sure you use a uh, appropriate cleaner for the monitor you know you don't want to use anything that's going to damage the LCD screen so I hope you know how to use bubble wrap um, I'm going to use my magical time machine to uh, just kind of show you the important steps of what you need to do here. Uh, abracadabra. So, uh, yeah, one of the most important things is you want to put maybe a thin sheet of protective material on the keyboard. So when you close it, you know, it can be a rough ride uh, to the destination, so you don't want the key keys rubbing up on the, on the monitor sometimes used laptops you know can have that problem there's some Dells but they have a known issue of the keys ruining the monitors so it's good to good to always have something in there when you're when you're moving it around it's kinda dark in here so open up the window so bear in mind this is gonna go into a medium flat rate box you don't want to wrap it too much but you don't want to wrap it so little that it gets damaged in the mail yes I'm aware some laptops will fit in a medium or a uh, padded flat rate envelope but they will arrive at their destination with cracks so don't do that okay so I've wrapped it once just to, to cover up the top and bottom don't mail it like this it's showing you what the beginning process all right, so as you can see the corners are all protected um, you're still not gonna mail it like this it'll be loose in the box you don't want anything to be loose in the box don't forget the charger Okay, so got everything wrapped. I used a thicker sheet of bubble wrap, about three, three, four feet long, wraps around the narrow end of the laptop two or three times. And you can tape it over the ends like this to protect the, protect the ends. Now, the sides. So um, now what you want to do is you're gonna put put it in the box and you're gonna use your power supply and your power cable on either side of the uh, laptop to prevent it from sliding back and forth that kinda adds this extra padding there are a couple different types of medium flat rate boxes this is the one we're gonna be using see medium, medium flat rate box don't let any postal worker tell you otherwise well, as you can see, it's all very snug. There is no room for it to move and, and jump around and shatter. It's pretty safe, even if a postal worker drops it a couple times, which will probably happen. And there's just enough room for the packing slip. Now, I know some of you probably have gone to some of these mom and pop postal shops and they want to charge you extra for everything. So, if you go to an actual post office, um, these boxes are free. You don't have to pay extra to tape them closed. They come with their own adhesive, which is great and everything. But I like to uh, go around the edges with an extra piece of tape to make sure it doesn't come open in transit. Alright, so as you can see, there's a tape going around the edge of the box on the outside. It doesn't take a lot of tape it has its own adhesive. So these come with their own little space for the uh, shipping label to make it easy on the postal workers. I would suggest using that. Uh, I have my own label printer and I use stamps.com because I ship regularly. Uh, so how, how you would like to pay for this is up to you. If you go to a post office you usually don't pay too much more for uh, priority mail flat rate as you do from like say stamps.com or ebay 
Um, obviously, I'm not going to put the label on here because of privacy issues. But, yeah, you would just put it right there. No product placement intended. So if you found that helpful, um, I would appreciate it if you would thumb up or like my video and feel free to subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. Oh yeah, I'm kind of new to these videos. I usually don't narrate myself, I just add music. So if you have any suggestions, um, I would be happy to receive a message and uh, take your advice. Thanks.